In this video, we are going to be covering how to find the antiderivative using the reverse power rule and the reverse chain rule. Before we do that, though, we need to review how to use the regular power rule and the regular chain rule. So let's say we start with an example, like, um, let's just say f of x equals 4x cubed, right? And we want to find the derivative of that. So we know from the, uh, the power rule that f prime of x is just going to equal 12x squared. Pretty simple. So then we're asked to find the derivative of f of some other function. So this is a composite function where instead of having x um, in f of x, we insert g of x. So this would look like 4, then insert some function, cubed, and let's just call that function g of x, x squared plus 3x. And from the chain rule, we learn that um, the derivative would just be the derivative of the outside function times the derivative of the inside function. Um, to be specific, this would be f prime of g of x times g prime of x. So if we wrote that out using this function, that would be 12 um, x squared plus 3x squared times the derivative of the inner function, which would just be um, 2x plus 3. And then what we're left with is the derivative of our composite function. So let's just go back to the first example again. If we have some function f prime of x equal to 12x squared, and we're, find, uh, we're asked to find the antiderivative, right? The antiderivative of 12x squared. Well, we know that the reverse power rule states that um, we add 1 to the power and divide by the power. So what we're left with is 4x to the third power. And if you go back to the example that we did before, you can see that f of x does match up with this answer. Now we're going to use the second example to find the antiderivative using the reverse chain rule. So um, the way we do this is by using something called u sub or u substitution. And we call this u substitution because in the example of the power rule, right, we have um, f of x in the form of ax to the n power. And what we're doing is since we're using the chain rule, instead of the, the x, we're actually plugging in a u, right? A u to the n power, where u is some other function other than x. So our goal when finding the reverse chain rule is to use u sub and to identify what that u might be. So first, let's just write a u on the right. And let's find what u might be. Now, again, we're dealing with the reverse power rule. So we're looking for anything in the ax to the n power, or au to the n power, I should say. So right here, 12, then this inner function, to the second power. We see that form matches up with this. So what we'll do? is we'll call this inner function that we see u. So on the right we can write um, u equals x squared plus 3x. Our next step is to find the derivative with respect to x of u. So how we can do that is the derivative with respect to x, which is du over dx, right? equals then the derivative 2x plus 3. 
And our next step would be to separate the du and the dx. So how we can do that is we can actually just multiply this dx to the other side. So du, we get that du equals, in parentheses, 2x plus 3 dx, right? So let me put this out of the way. So now we're given some u value and some du value. And we can actually see that this 2x plus 3 dx is actually shown over here, right? This we can call du. And now we actually have all of the parts that we can substitute um, into this function. So what we'll do is we'll take this large antiderivative that we see and we'll actually change it into its u form. So 12, and we plugged in, uh, we know that this is u, so we just call this u. 2 times, and actually this is just du. This entire thing is just du, so we can just write du right there. So we went from this big function, right, down to this simple uh, reverse power rule problem. And then if we do that, we know that this is, um, this is 4x cubed. Oh, sorry. This would be 4u cubed. 4u cubed. And we also have to remember to add the plus c here. Because when we find the antiderivative, we have to um, think about the constant. Now what we do is we see this u here and we just plug it back in. We have the u value that we determined on the right over here. So all that's left to do is just plug it in. So 4, then x squared plus 3x cubed plus c. So here is the antiderivative. And if you look back, this is actually what we started with. And this is how we can verify that our answer is correct. This was just the concept video. Um, there will be another video covering the example soon. And if you have any questions, you can email me or leave them in the comments.